Welcome, Paul from paul-irvin.com here. Thank you so much for joining me in this Camtasia 9 review video that I've created for you. Now, a lot of you may be using Camtasia 8 just now and wondering, do I really need to upgrade the software? Well, over the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you that yes, you do, because not only has Camtasia made the upgrade extremely affordable, the number of features inside Camtasia 9 are absolutely mind-blowing. So I want to take you through a few of those, okay? So if you have Camtasia 8 and you've been constantly frustrated with freezing and crashing for no apparent reason when you've been working with large work, uh, workflows, then that is now a thing of the past because Camtasia 9 is 64-bit. Now what that means is the previous versions were 32-bit and could only use some of the CPU and some of the memory available inside your rig. That's now a complete thing of the past. Camtasia 9 now has full access to all the RAM and all the CPU power that you can throw at it. What does this mean? Well, it means a smoother workflow. It means that you can go from conception to the rendering of your project in a much shorter time frame. The test videos that I've created during the beta testing, the difference between Camtasia 8 and Camtasia 9 speed-wise was just incredible. Uh, even simple things like navigating inside the menu as well, adding options to the timeline, much smoother experience inside Camtasia 9 as well. Now you'll see from the interface as well, they've gone from the, the white, shockingly bright uh, interface to a nice grey, black, darker theme, which is much easier on the eye when it comes to long term times in front of the computer editing your videos together. So that's obviously a good thing as well. <clears throat> the layout has changed somewhat. Uh, in fact, it's changed quite dramatically. On the left side of the screen, you can see that we have all the different options available. When you click on it, that's the only time that the full options become available on the screen. So once you're finished doing what you're doing, you can click on the option and get a much nicer, much bigger uh, canvas to edit your work on. On the right side too we have the properties option. Properties only appear once you choose an option. So let's just drag this onto the screen here. If you want to learn about all these new features in depth then I've got a series of videos that you can access from my uh, YouTube channel homepage. There's a nice playlist there going through every conceivable option you could want to know about Camtasia 9. So once we have the element on the screen, click on properties and as you can see the options appear where you can change the settings for the element. Once you're done, you click on properties, push that away and once you're done on this side you can push this uh, away as well. So again, maximum availability of the screen to work with your composition. A cool feature that's been included now is the detached canvas. Now I'm working with a two monitor setup. I have my main monitor and my monitor off to my left side here. So when we detach the canvas this actually allows you to have a free floating window that you can then drag off the screen and then full size on your other screen. So not only do you have the ability to look at your tracks and your options more freely on the available screen, you have the live preview on the other screen as well. If you want to see that in action, I've created a Camtasia 9 detached canvas video, two minute video, and it shows you it in action. Once you're done, you can click on reattach canvas and everything comes back into the main area. Now something that was lacking in the previous version of Camtasia were the abilities to um, add features from the library that we could actually use in our projects. As you can see now we have anything from animated backgrounds to icons that we can animate on the screen. We even have motion graphics included as well. We have intro clips, lower thirds, there's some lovely lower thirds included here. This is the shimmer lower third. So we're not just talking static anymore, it's got animation included as well. 
another one sliding boxes for example very well thought out very visually impacting as well I'm sure you'll agree and finally we have some music tracks included by default as well now these are all included in your purchase these are free with Camtasia 9 there's no additional investment required to obtain those options something else that we have as well we have what are called behaviors so if we choose one of these very quickly we can apply a behavior to text we can apply it to an annotation we can even apply it to a video clip and it's as simple as dragging and dropping and then just clicking play that wasn't very impressive I'll have to admit let's try something that looks a bit funkier like drifting so let's try this one here there we go so swings it onto the screen and you can imagine if you apply some of this cool stuff onto different videos it's going to look rather fantastic something else that we have as well we have new transitions available again there's a video covering each section on here in depth this is more just a, a kind of overview of what you have the visual effects people have been wanting to remove a colour and you can change the clip speed you can adjust the colour available there's all kinds of really cool stuff inside here as well now if you're on the Macintosh platform there's fantastic news for you there's always been a lag of the Mac software behind the PC version but not anymore because Camtasia 9 is now fully cross compatible with both the Mac and the PC in other words everything you get in the PC you now have available on the Mac as well and because of this Camtasia or TechSmith have now introduced the new concept of a common platform whereby the file created by PC and Mac are both compatible with each other so if you do have a workflow that involves more than one person then guess what anything created on the PC will be loadable and editable on the Mac and vice versa as well plus you now get quizzes available with the Mac version as well so again this was just a quick overview of the software if you are interested in a free trial or even just buying the software or the upgrade you can click on the link below this video that will take you straight to the page where you can acquire a copy of this fantastic software for yourself any questions any comments you can certainly leave them again in the comments below I'm very quick to respond to my subscribers and my viewers uh, so you can expect a very fast answer to anything that you need to know indeed so again this is Paul from paul-irvin.com here this is the end of the Camtasia 9 review I thank you so much for watching I would ask you if you've enjoyed what you've seen then click on the subscribe button and you can get updated with all the latest videos tips and tricks that I release on my YouTube channel so once again thank you so much for watching goodbye